Beano Black, folks, and the name is for a reason. Uh, Beano Black Day. And uh, we're going to be looking at this black object because scientifically, no matter what, we know that this is the sun and the supergiants putting off light. Okay? I.e., this is all, and more than likely, Rigel, uh, Cantaris B, Centauri, Proxemi Centauri, uh, all of the sun and the supergiants and so forth and so on, put out light. And a good example is the light we get up over this way. Because knowing the humongous size of the sun going around like this, there is also light being shown way up here to the right. Okay? And a uh, duh, way down here because of the sun and the supergiants. The sun is in the supergiants. Watch my videos. Go back to the panties off the sun and so far I'll even pop into the videos but what we're very much in scientifically interested in when I started looking after I made the video showing hey wow we got a black hole or something like that there and I did the FedEx thing for a reason because the idea that it gets a lot of hits okay even this gal that shows her boobs off basically and I better make sure that this basically and yeah she's got standard YouTube on it she gets 11,000 hits because she put FedEx guy throwing deal in okay now you see how we get corned off off on the space thing of the counts and yes you can't really trust the counts because the idea that I do get uh, put out by other people and they get almost as many views as I do on my videos myself and they put my name on there and that's where you have to you always have to use Beano Black but this uh, FedEx thing has got like 7 million views today okay even if you go to watch it it'll say 6 million but it's the, the newest ticking counter on it and there's way more if I go back through this you'll be end up seeing the idea that there's way more things when you put FedEx guy in you'll get all kinds of videos okay a lot of people do this to see and uh, to get what they get for hits and stuff like that and 14,000 views okay and it's not that video okay so you're gonna see how much we're quarantined or at least my channel is quarantined because the idea that when you type in FedEx and I'm going to do it in different ways besides just that, but I did it through original FedEx to begin with. And you're going to end up starting to see how much crap is being done to quarantine off, especially since I don't do advertising. I don't get any advertising for it. They don't like that crap, telling you the truth. Uh, I don't get any money for any of my uh, videos. Let me put my deal up. And you, you can't, we've, we've seen before that you can't try some stickers, okay? So just basically showing you all, basically showing you my channel and all the videos and I'll sh take you back to what you need to do l for looking for I believe I'm trying to think of what I did for basically showing everybody well there's one of my last dozen videos basically shows you the super giants and I'm gonna have to go back and dig myself for the idea but I did the panties off the uh, super giants a long time ago should be able to get to it here let me save some time and here's a video that did real good folks because the idea of the facts the thousand percent that there's an object that gets in front of what we see down there in Antarctica okay and we're having a little bit of fun here as we're going through here because I didn't expect that tag to come up and then block off the shot but you check that video out you need to check out a lot and a lot of ones that they give me the goofy ass numbers they give me 888 like that uh, psyops bullshit Karis off crap and there we go panties off the Sun and the super giants main sequence and panties off the sun in the supergiants main sequence. Off the sun in the supergiants main sequence. Okay, sequence two and that one there. And that'll pretty much explain to you a lot. Anybody that's asking questions about the supergiants. And there was a video I did lately, which basically, if, the la if you watch the last dozen videos, and I'm going to have to get into my next video so I know which one I've got it in, but I did some recent updates on the supergiants on the grids in one of these here. So I'll try to do another super giants thing to show you well how many there are and so forth and so such. But I eat no more men or what. If you don't do advertising with YouTube, you will get quarantined off and it's not just the only excuse. They don't like you to give an actual data, facts, truth what's going on in the world, folks. Okay? So you got the time and the date and everything. We're just gonna blow this up, okay? We're gonna go to four hundred percent and then I'll have to save some time on the deal. And watch the streak of light, folks. It creases out here, and I'm wondering if that's the crease that we see that when we go to Worldwide Telescope and so forth and so on. Okay, now this is up by Mars. Okay, and to show you that, I'll show you another one of the H shots. We'll, we'll be able to show you this one here. 
Okay, and we know it's by Mars because there it is again. Okay, so I'll blow this shot up and you see the date and the time there and everything like that. So we come down and it's up by Mars. Okay, hang on here so I can get Mars. I think it's over to the right. Yeah, here we go. Big magnetic on Venus and you get Mars up there and that's where we have this at, that light propagation where it's basically black. Okay. So basically, we know we have all this CME action coming out, lighting everything up, all around in space, and there's our big humongous object shows up again too, as you can see there. There's the outline of it right there. So it's not no, uh, even more proof that that's not a reflection of anything, because you can see all these stars out in front of it, okay? That is the big ass meatball out in deep dark space. You can't miss it. You get the halo all the way around here and we're only at 400% but you get to see how big that planet is and here you get to see the edge of it big time so you know it's not a halo because look at the flare from the sun. Okay? And it doesn't even affect it. So if it was a shadow or a uh, some kind of like what we get we know we get a holograms, holograms down here on Earth from more than likely some planets that are clear and then have dark corners to them that give us those objects, i.e. watch my exact last video of this one and you will see the cigar shaped type and it almost looks like all kinds of different things in your imagination when you first see it. Okay, I'm going to go to Nehemiah and see if I can pull up the video, but this is more even factual 1000% the idea that this massive, massive planet, okay, is out there folks. The sun flare doesn't even mess it up. Okay? So the idea that it's and it lights it up and shows it's deep dark out there in deep dark space. More than likely that is the meatball up behind us in dark behind our back door to earth in the darkness. And we need to study this here because we get dark light here, dark light here, dark light over here and it moves up and down just like a star. Just like Venus, just like a planet, it's got magnetism t to it, but it's blackness, folks. It's dark. So you'll see it better, and they don't like this truth being s seen. You don't like you looking into space and figuring stuff out and not letting the scientists tell you this shit. Okay? Because you can figure it out before them. Now, this is it. 400%. The other shot from, so I can pop down this, that shot there. And you'll end up seeing the dark, deep darkness of space. I'm not trying to scare anybody to make them think that it's a black hole. Now, here it doesn't show the magnetism down to the bottom. But here you get the magnetism of whatever it is, the darkness from that up to there. And also I wanted to sit here and talk for a minute about the idea of these that we are seeing, these circulations, the circulars down here, okay? These circular actions that we see up in space and this circular action here, okay? And here also, and check that out. Okay, now these could be constellations, but they are big ass planets, i.e., the size of Jupiter is humongous, okay? And then these things are far away from Jupiter, so they're damn big too, okay? So the darkness there is amazing, and then this star way up north, otherwise, that's our North Star, the one that, the one that we basically consider. And basically, I would like to do, um, do another video in the future on showing you that the idea that we will eventually will change our North Star, will be to become a different star. Uh, to keep the north GPS polarization what we go by and so forth and so such eventually through time. You research it on Wikipedia and I think I've showed a little bit in the video in the past. So a lot of interesting stuff out here with the red background giving us very great awesome shots of space as you see that dark hole and as I see something and hear something getting trumped into my uh, they do not like us looking out in space folks and figuring this stuff out from our taxpayer dollars because they have to sh keep showing us the shots why shut it down? There's and there's a comet Lovejoy again today, and this is the date and time on that shot. And I'll zoom back out on this. So basically, I'm going to go up and look at Nehemiah maybe at the very end of this video or another video coming because this, I think that this darkness out here in space is very much interesting to look at. Let's zoom in and on in here because let me see. You, you can pay attention to the times that were different on these because I showed you the times on them. So let me zoom in on this. Okay, in at a thousand percent. And basically, we'll go down, and you remember seeing that little black planet there, and there was some more black planets to the right, okay? So, and then that's what our, looks exactly like our little 
bouncers that we had on the China flick, and there's more than one out there in space, but that one's pretty predominant, and that's pretty much the one that we end up seeing from the sun. Because I go over, well, we didn't have the sun there to the left, but we should have. Okay, I'm going to keep it a 1,000, and we'll see that on the way back out. Let's go up and look at this magneticism. Black magneticism. Magnet, magneticism. Okay, as we go up, and even stars end up looking more yellowish right there and big and highlighted as we go up through that dark strip. It's like deep, dark space seam that we've got out there in space, ladies and gentlemen. And there's that big star that we've got up there, way up north of Jupiter. Okay. And yes, everybody who's an astronomer and tele worldwide telescope, yes, we know we can go in there and play around, but we get better, clearer shots of what's actually out there on these SOHO shots. Instead of the fake bake with the colorization and artwork of NASA, which is a lot of times makes us see absolutely opposite of what we're seeing right now. Because right now you are seeing absolute photographic data, yes, comes back and gives us an exact image of what the hell is up there. So there you go, at a thousand percent, that big darkness. And now we're going to go back and spend the rest of the video, since we look at this real good here at a thousand, we can go back to the other shot on the... Uh, there it is again, that big black hole. That seam all the way up there. Okay, let's go back to the other shot real fast. Of, I was even going to show you these here, Sechis, but I already showed it to you earlier. Let's go back to this one here. I think that, yep, we're at 400%. Should be able to blow into a thousand on this. Let's get out to a hundred for a second to get organized on it. And we know that we've got it at Mars here again. So when we get down to Mars, we want to look at that. So I'm going to pop it to 400. So these massive solar flares that we're getting, folks, and we're going to get CME action, like I showed you in the last video. We're going to get it on the 28th, somewhere between on the 28th between 8 Central Time to uh, two or three in the morning on the 29th central time okay so this is going back up where that seam would be and then we get an interesting very interesting check this humongous slinky out in space because the sun okay that that's our object again okay that's our massive there's the meatball again folks as you get it up over there to the right that object is out there in space folks now this was creeping back into the super giants yesterday I'll have to see, and I'll be able to go to, and there it is, folks. The flare shows you that that humongous object, the super meatball, and we know that there's an object that's hello out in space, like 10 million something odd light years away or something like that, that is 747 times the size of the sun. Well, this isn't it, folks. This is something either in the super giants or the meatball in the deep, dark space behind because the solar flare here off of the sun shows you that it does not disturb it and it does not make it so it's not a hologram of the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Thousand percent proof, folks. Hundred percent proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Because you see all the stars, they are way out in front of this humongous thing that is way back and it is huge as hell, folks. Huge as hell. There's no way that that's a, a hologram of the sun. We have now know for damn sure, and it's not a sun because it would be putting off bright light. It's a dead planet, a dead star, humongous, massive, spherical object out in deep, dark space, folks. And let me pop down real fast because we're getting low on time, but we'll make sure you know that the idea that I'm not fake baking you, and here it is, folks. There is your date and time. And we've been catching it for the last couple days. There's Lovejoy down there. And now we'll move back up and we will see Venus and we will see our deep dark. And there's another, there's the lower magnetism. So basically this is probably a flipped, flipped around shot of Venus. Okay, I'm just basically being an odd of the black in the strip. So there it is, the darkness in space up by Mars. And it's very interesting because this, the Chinese space station's up there and our uh, Curious is going up there right now. Okay, and that's what they were saying on uh, the idea that we'll, we'll probably get some metering from NASA on a lot of stuff that's going on on the way up there because of what's going on with these solar flares going through the CMEs. So once again, we move up and there you can see the darkness strip because basically this is a flip around of the other shot. 
because you can see the darkness going down through space. The truth gets quarantined.